stuff like that as well. Okay, so um, like I said, cat control, very important. Um, typically what you'll do is you will have, like I said, you'll have an opper, uh, an opper playing mid here, and they'll either peak like a one of three positions, maybe four positions, like right here at this edge, sometimes like right here at this edge. They, typically, I don't like this spot because if you're taking this dual mid, you can easily get picked from cat, like if they have a, a real, uh, what do you call it, real bold opper, you know, or even just a CT that's going to peak there on cat. You know, you, at a double zoom, you're not going to see that. And that's an angle that you don't really want to cover. And uh, for some reason, I see a lot of oppers. They'll just stand right here in the middle. I think if they feel like there's no threat, uh, no threat to another opera, they'll just stand right there in the middle. And they'll just take the fight like that. Sometimes you'll see oppers jump down here into suicide. And they'll take this fight. Uh, I think that that's a lot less common. Um, I think that that's kind of like a, a you know, kind of one-off preference. You know, if you have like a team that likes having an opera down there, that's a little bit of an off angle. They're not really checking for the opera in ct um then you know that or excuse me in suicide then uh then that's an option uh the bad thing about this is that it is um I, i'm pretty sure you cannot spot lower tunnels from being here so in other words if your b guys when they're running into b uh you know they'd like to know like hey can i focus on upper b or do i also need to be worrying about down here and obviously if the t side opera can't spot lower tunnels because this is another concept I, I can't believe people don't understand that if you're spotting mid you're also spotting lower tunnels uh so that's something else to keep in mind that if you decide to go down into suicide down there that you will have to then make your b guys cover an extra spot or that they could possibly have to worry about an extra angle to cover um so yeah typically your opera will stay mid for a good chunk of the round Unless, of course, if that opera has, like, let's say, a good A spawn, they may decide to try to get a pick out on this corner or the guy crossing into pit. A standard setup on CT side we'll go over in a little bit, which does include two counter terrorists in pit, or excuse me, two counter terrorists on long A. Um, I'll show you, like, a oh, stupid map. Uh, well, I'll just go over it real quick right now. Typical uh, CT setup may include an opera here. Uh, it doesn't have to be an opera, but typically they'll put an opera right here to take this duel or take this aim battle, whatever you want to call it. Typically with an op, it's like a duel like that, you know, 1v1 duel. And, um, I mean, uh, you can ask me in chat, dude. Um, yeah, I'll probably queue up later. Uh, the other CT player being here in pit, typically a rifler, you don't ever really want an opera in this, uh, in the lower, in the pit area. It's just kind of, it's pointless, um, because you're always playing catch up essentially. Uh, catch up as they come out of the doors rather than you know getting them on a peak here um, you know which is ideal for an opera uh, you know you have an opera play there or you know a rifler and pit or you could have your opera you know uh, opping in game helper for those of you that don't know so a lot of people can call this car or cars whatever you know car in uh, 1.5 I think and definitely in 1.6 there's a big banner here it was in Dust2 for, I think, a website website called GameHelper.com. So if you ever, you know, hear someone refer to GameHelper, this is GameHelper, this whole area right here. So, um, you know, if you have your uh, your opper, op and game helper, excuse me, they may op, like, back here, like, to, you know, get this angle. Um, unless they, if they have somebody, you know, watching their long from pit, then they can go ahead and, you know, op from back here, not up here on the corner. But they'll pick, they'll pick you know, like a little bit like here. That way, you know, they can have, you know, fewer fights to take one at a time. They just pick, they pick, fall a little bit to the left, wait for the next one, get them a little bit to the left, and basically just kind of lead them into sight, picking them off one by one rather than taking like a 2v1, 3v1, that kind of setup. Uh, let me just check my messages real quick. Oh, yeah, whoever Swagger Bob is, thank you for the follow. I, I missed it. Um, I think it was actually while I was working. It wasn't while I was streaming. Um, but yeah, I'll go over offering setups uh, in a little bit. Yeah, why not? I guess I can just do it now. Yo, J. Bill, welcome back. Uh, so you you can um, you can have a, a you know a terrorist excuse me a CT um, opping game helper which can cover the the cross in mid and also cover cat. Uh, like if you do really don't want double long, like if for whatever reason team isn't taking long that often, you can have them go, um, can have the opper do a uh, game helper opping, game helper op. Uh, typically they won't worry, they won't have to worry about both of these at the same, excuse me, at the same time. No team is ever going to run out cat and also run out mid. I mean, I guess they could, that'd just be really weird. You can also have an opera post up here. 
This is not necessarily an ideal angle. It's a little bit of an off angle. You can't crouch while at this angle. Um, basically, you have to be like back here, but it really leaves you exposed to a lot, you know, along um, here up on the wall is a little bit better, but you're still exposed, obviously. Uh, I think that you can still uh, see in here. I can't remember where it is. I don't ever use this because I think it's honestly kind of dumb uh, to do this, uh, where you can kind of like look through this crack. I think that, yeah, there it is. You can look through. And you can see, um, you know, the terrace as they cross. I think it's a little bit nerdy. It's like kind of a dorky kind of thing to do. Like, really, you're gonna you're gonna use this? Okay, I guess. You know, and you can kill people through there. Believe it or not, you can kill people with the op if you hit them. Um, you can get them, but that's kind of I don't know. It's a little bit too much. Um, sometimes people want to op goose. You can op goose. Uh, really, op when you op goose, some people like to put their cross here, right here. Uh, I don't like that. I think that you can use that as kind of your trigger as to what or basically your little flag as to when to pull the trigger Like if they're peeking out because you will see like the terrorists like their shirt or you know The ch the color change as they're moving out. You'll see them move through that little sliver You see them move first You'll see them even do like a little shoulder peek where they think that they're baiting out a shot there But if you just don't really I mean if you kind of wait until they're out This is a good tell where they think that they're covered, but they're actually not so this is actually a good spot Yo, Epic, welcome, or Neon, welcome, welcome. So this is another spot, you know, you can op goose. Some people like to op from back here. Um, I typically, the way that I kind of look at it is that if you want to find a good spot to op, make sure that you're covered from long before you take this fight at goose. Also, you probably want a guy covering your long, whether he, I mean, if he's really in pit, that's kind of a really, really crappy fight to take for him. If he's playing all the way in pit. Um, so you may have him, play, like a rifler playing here. Uh, a game helper just kind of spot in that corner uh, however that being said that's still a really crappy fight to take and it is a really crappy fight to take here at goose as well because the nice thing about like playing here like game helper or at the corner of the cross or really even over here is that you're able to run away and even when you're taking a shot up here on like if you're taking the cat shot like if you take a real quick shot let's say you hit it maybe you don't regardless you just drop into ct and you can run away, you know, maybe pop a flash, you know, to get away, or you have your cat player, whoever's working with you to pop a flash, and then you can reset up, reposition. Fight here at Goose, you're pretty much stuck here at Goose. They know that you're here, you're not getting away. So that's pretty much it. Um, over here, it's still a crappy fight to take because you're not going anywhere. You're not gonna, you're not gonna get away over here. You're not gonna, you know, I mean, maybe if you pop some flashes, but I mean, really, you're facing a whole wall of terrorists there. Uh, so that's kind of like an A setup, you know, for the CTs, and we're kind of going through um, like a T. If you do smoke like the corner, you know, maybe you you know throw two flashes out. You know, not like that, obviously. But if you pop flash out twice, uh, you maybe will get some players that are willing to challenge outside here if they're going to try to use this as a one way. It's possible. But that's why when you're running out, you just immediately look for it. It's unlikely that the opera is going to reposition right there and take that fight. If anything, if they hear two flashes, they're probably just going to run. This guy in pit, he may stay. He may go. Um, really, you just have to be ready for it. Um, once you get out long, you might want to put someone immediately on the other side of blue over here to just kind of hold this guy. Uh, to hold this guy, you know, in pit. Because he's probably going to try to peek for some info or re-challenge uh, while everyone else is coming out. Uh, you know, coming or everyone else is usually like one or two other people coming out with with you um, on on long. All right, so I'll answer chat's question. Good to order a monitor, forty percent off with the PC. Depends on what kind of monitor, and depends on where you're ordering from. Depends on the price. You know, for if you're ordering, like let's say that you go to like Dell's website and you're like building a computer through them or like some computer manufacturer like where they designed it for you i wouldn't buy one of their monitors i mean i just wouldn't that's just my preference but i i wouldn't waste the money there even if it is 40 percent off it's just gonna be junk anyways depends on how serious you are um anyways uh what we're talking about oh yes 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 um so getting out long you know and um some people will uh oops i meant to actually smoke what was I trying? Oh, I was trying to smoke a. I meant to molly. I was trying to molly. Uh, what you call it? Long doors. And um, I don't know why I threw smoke. Uh, but you might want to molly. You know, a little bit in the doors, a little bit to the right. You know, to get uh, to slow them down. 
That being said, um, there are some other CT ways to slow down any kind of long push. If you want to get like your fast cat guy to immediately throw a smoke, um, you know, right there, it usually pops just as the terrorists are getting to it. Uh, however, it is a little dangerous because as you can see, if you have an opera trying to pick here, they could walk out the smoke right in there and they could get to the other side of blue without your opera ever even knowing. So you still pretty much want to put a guy in pit. Um, and you could use this as your guy, basically your guy in pit. It could be essentially his first smoke and then he could re-smoke it uh, when he's ready. That's like if you're just playing one solo long and you want to help him out. Because typically if you have a guy that's jumping up here on the fast cat, on these boost boxes... Um, and if he's throwing this smoke, if he's going to go ahead and throw that smoke, then he's basically, he's fast catting people. He's ducking, he's fast catting people, and he's trying to, you know, get maybe your opera up on cat or get, you know, two riflers up there. And maybe he's the opper and he's going to fall back and just play, uh, if he's just going to play like right here. Really, he wants to play like up here, though he can freely get out of the way. Right here is, it's not exactly ideal. You wouldn't want to really play this spot unless you had two guys on cat or at least one guy on cat. Though you don't have to worry about it. They're not going to come through CT. They're just they're just not going to. This is not... If they came running up CT, then that would mean everyone else failed at their jobs. And you can blame them for dying. Are you going to do some face it? Yeah, I'll probably do some face it later. Cyber power. And the monitor is Asus 1080p 2 millisecond LED backlit DVI and HDMI input 24 inch widescreen. I mean, that's pretty much like an Asus standard, you know, uh, monitor. If you can get like a one millisecond response, that'd be even better. Um, I know I have one that's like three milliseconds and the other one's five, or excuse me, one is three and one's one. And you can tell the difference. Like you can. Um, so, I mean, it's there. 1080p, of course, is good. 24 inches is plenty enough. I mean, DVI and HDMI is great. Um, as you get into like more advanced stuff, you may want to consider getting like a display port as well. Just something to consider. Uh, you also want to know the refresh rate on it and <laughs> server froze. You might want to look at the refresh rate on it. Like when you're purchasing a monitor, you may want to consider, I mean, just depending on how serious you are with CSGO, you may want to consider, you know, is it 60 Hertz, 120 Hertz, 144 Hertz, you know, because that it does matter in higher levels. Like it just, it does, you know, it's just smoother. It looks better. It looks cleaner. It looks sharper. You know, things just look better. So if you're talking about, you know, a two millisecond, um, response LED. I mean, if it's in your budget, then go for it. You know, if you're just starting out with CSGO or just, you know, competitive first person shooters, then yeah, go for, go for the two millisecond and then upgrade in time. Like when you get some extra money or something, one millisecond being $400. Yeah, sure. You know, go for it. If, especially if you're getting 40% off, just go for it. Sorry, the server's frozen right now, um, which is dumb. It'll be back in a little bit. But anyways, we we're talking about uh, the opping positions, whether it was, you know, opping game helper or, you know, right at the uh, corner cross, Playing up on cat, there's the servers back. Uh, up in goose or up in like rail, call this rail. You know, all of those are pretty good spots or if you wanna even up on cat. Um, sometimes if you have somebody, like if you have one of your uh, one of your A players, fast cat the opper, there are easier ways to do this. And I've seen some people do like a double jump up, it's pretty cool. Um, if they have you, fa if they fast cat your op, you can get up on, up on here on cat and you can take this peak. And like, if you know that, that the terrorist opera is consistently playing right side and you don't suspect that, that they're going to be pushing at palm tree or up cat, like a fast cat too, uh, you can get this pick and then fall back. It's, you know, it's, it's not easy, but you can do it. Uh, you do have to be careful of the lower B push because uh, I mean, the thing is, is that if they're pushing with B, you know, pushing in B, they, let's say they have their opera watching T spawn. There's no guarantee that you can get them unless you want to be all, uh, what you call it, JW about it. You want to actually like hop out here, take the shot, and then hop back in, uh, have a, hop back on the cat, which I don't recommend, but you can do it. But you're just very exposed down here. You can, um, like, you can bring a teammate with you, and I mean it's a pretty easy smoke. You know, oops, excuse me. <laughs> of course, as I say that, pretty easy smoke. You know, just smoke lower like that, or even if you smoke Xbox. I think that might have been Xbox. No, it wasn't. It was too high. Um, but, you know, they can just smoke lower like that, and it covers it off plenty. Of course, if they see a smoke like this, they may be a little suspect. They may want to know what's going on in, on cat, so you have to watch out for that.